everyone, my name is Melissa from Inspire Me ASAP. In today's video, I want to share with you a lesson that you can teach to your students about how to identify the author's purpose. The best part is that I have a free lesson plan and also some student printables for you to print and I'll show you how to, you can snag those for free at the end of the video. This lesson is actually part of my overall metacognition unit on readers workshop. So metacognition is thinking about our reading. Prior to teaching this particular lesson, my students already have um, an understanding and a um, very familiar with fiction books, literature, and nonfiction text or informational text. I begin this lesson by, first of all, connecting it to what we've been previously learning about and then stating very clearly what today's lesson is all about. So the teaching point. I can identify the author's purpose. There are three main reasons why the authors write books. Those three reasons are to persuade, inform, and entertain. I then would explicitly show three different books that are an example of those three reasons why an author would write a text. So for example, I would say, boys and girls, one reason that an, a, an author might write a text is to persuade us, to persuade us to think, believe something that they want us to think or believe, to change our mind about something. This is an example of a text that would persuade us to help save the giant pandas in the world. Now, in a later lesson, I would actually read this to my students and I would get to that actual part in the text where the author is persuading them to do something to help the pandas in the world. I also might explain how this could also be a text that is informing or teaching us so informing or teaching us about giant pandas. It could be two different purposes that Gail Gibbons is using to write this book. I might then show an example of boys and girls. This book is going to teach us who this person Nelson Mandela is. This person is going to teach us about all the important things that this person did in his lifetime. I would read more about this book if I wanted to learn about the important things that this person, Nelson Mandela, did in our world. I then would show an example of two books that were written to entertain. Boys and girls, sometimes authors write books just so that we can enjoy them and we can be entertained by them. These are two books that uh, my students are very familiar with. We have already read these, um, each book in the entire series for Mercy Watson, and we've used Bad Case of Stripes. So my students would be familiar with um, what is happening in these stories. At a later point um, during the week, I might go back and teach another lesson specifically showing evidence of how I know that this author wrote this book to entertain me the different spots in here that I was laughing and that I enjoyed. So that would be a later lesson going back and actually identifying those parts in the text. Students would then go back to their seats and they would in their writer's, I'm sorry, reader's notebook, they would take out their reader's notebook and using the books that were in their own personal book nook, they would then Find a book to write and identify the author's purpose. So whatever book is inside of um, their book nook, whether it was fiction, nonfiction, whatever it was, they would self-select that book. And inside of their reader's notebook, they would write a little bit about what the author's purpose was for the book that they had in their book nook. I might also, um, during this time, work with a group of students in a guided reading group. So I might pull a group of students over and we might have a um, for example, of um, a pre-printed reading passage that I might be reading with those, that group of students, we might have um, an actual book that we're reading with that, you know, with that group, a hard copy of a book, 
um, and I might be differentiating the lesson for that particular group, for example, by asking them to show, find evidence to support your thinking. So if you're telling me that Mercy Watson was written to entertain the readers, then I want you to find evidence in this text, quoting the text, putting the page number to support your thinking. In, and I also um, already touched on this, but in my previous, in my next lesson, I might then also specifically go back to teach the different reasons why by reading the books that author would write the text. So for example, I might go back to specifically read Giant Pandas. And after we were done reading, I would um, teach my students, boys and girls, well, yes, this was written to teach us facts about pandas, but the author also wants us to know that people, humans, we are the enemy, uh, the enemies, the enemy of pandas. So that's something that I would do in um, a future lesson. If you are interested in snagging this lesson plan with some of the free printables that I have showing here, I have a link in the description below where you can click on and it will take you to this freebie lesson that you can print up and use with your own students in your own classroom. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to um, follow along um, to make sure that you're not missing any of the videos, videos that I post. I do post one new video every week and you do not want to miss out on that. Thank you.